Hi guys, different background. Welcome to my first video showing how I do some of my other jewelry pieces. Um, and then what I thought I would do with this sort of series is um, no chat, um, just me showing how I make some of my jewelry pieces, be it finishing off some polymer clay pieces uh, in a different way or maybe stringing, beading, um, you know, whatever it is I'm doing jewellery wise um, but there'll be no chat, no music, it's just a video of me making something from start to finish. A few people have expressed interest in other projects I do, other jewellery projects I do so I thought this would be, um, you know, we'll see how it goes uh, but there won't be as much of an introduction on the rest of the videos um, I will just literally um, tell you what I'm using, what materials I'm using and then it'll go quiet and I'll just carry on so this first video will be a little bit with an intro um, just while I explain things so this is a, a pin board, an old macrame pin board. Uh, I like to use this because what I can do is, especially if I'm beading and knotting, I can use um, my pins and I can pin to keep the string taut or at a certain length. And I have inches marked off on here. Um, should just be able to make out there the number 13. I know from personal experience that if my thread is doubled and I take it to there that is enough to go over my head um, so it would fit most people so that's 26 inches of cord um, so um, that's just my little mark. I generally pin uh, my cords up at the top and pull down to that and then do a knot so I know that's where my 13 inches is uh, so that's the kind of thing I'll be doing guys of course you can ask questions and things uh, in the comments um, but I just thought as people have been expressing an interest in my other things that I would do these sort of videos and we'll see how they go so today I'm going to be making a beaded lariat style pendant. This is my feature bead, which is an amethyst piece. It's very, very dark, almost black on the bottom. Got a lovely, quite a big hole in. Nice piece. So that's my feature bead. Alongside that, I'm going to be using some amethyst beads. Um, they're not all purple, there's a little bit of flecking and crackling in them if you can make that out. And I've also got, because this is so dark, I wanted to offset that. So I've got some faceted black onyx beads. Um, now these are 8mm beads, these are 6mm beads and this is an inch and a half by half an inch size wise uh, and I'm just going to use a simple black uh, satin cord um, like this this is an 8 mil satin cord uh, and I'm just going to string everything up on that cord so I shall get going guys Oh, and I'm using, uh, let me think, 26. I'm probably using 70 inches of cord. Uh, of course, it depends how long you want to make your dangler, but I'm going to take off about 70 inches. Okay, guys, uh, I'm just going to shut up and get started. <laughs> 